Good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Magandang uh, araw sa inyong lahat, whatever time na pinapanood nyo or papanoorin itong video ito. So again, your Tatay D, Sir D, or Dr. D is welcoming you to our subject, Law Enforcement Organization and Administration. And in this particular video, we will be discussing the uh, one of the uh, major law enforcement agencies in this country, the National Bureau of Investigation. But uh, here we are just going to discuss how it was created and the powers and functions of this uh, uh, Bureau of Investigation. So the other portions or the other uh, uh, laws uh, concerning the National Bureau of Investigation will be discussed in a later uh, video. Okay, so once again, if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel. So at the end of this uh, lecture, the viewers are expected to trace this, the his history of the National Bureau of Investigation and to be able to identify the functions of National Bureau of Investigation. Because uh, you might be thinking na, Sir, ang NBI ba ay... Uh, Yan ay nag-overlap doon sa function ng Philippine National Police at uh, function ng ibang uh, uh, investigative agents sa bansa natin. Of course, no. no? Eh, sir, bakit may mga pagkakataon na isang kaso ay nag-imbestiga ang police, nag-imbestiga din ang MBI? No? Well, we are going to uh, find out those things no? as we move on with this uh, lecture para makita nyo yung uh, uh, comparison at saka yung delineation ng uh, functions ng mga iba't ibang investigative agencies natin dito sa ating bansa sa Pilipinas. Health Act number 181. So uh, after uh, or uh, when the Japanese came in 1942 the DI then was affiliated with the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Again, sir, bakit Bureau of Internal Revenue? Iyan ay collection ng tax. Okay? So, ganun din sa Amerika. No? Uh, nagkaroon sila ng problema sa Amerika, particularly sa mga collection ng taxes. So, uh, nagkaroon sila ng tinatawag natin yung mga investigation nila sa revenue, sa collection, para makolekta nila yung mga taxes. Kasi importante yan sa isang government na merong uh, taxes na nakukulikta. So parang ganun din yung Communist Party of the Philippines. Kaya nagsusurvive yan for the last 52 years kasi malaki yung kinukuha nila mga revolutionary taxes sa mga iba't ibang mga uh, businesses dito sa Pilipinas. Okay? Yun ang uh, pinaka uh, lifeblood ng isang uh, ng isang government yung mga taxes. Okay? So kaya nung sa Japanese occupation, kailangan ng mga hapon ng pera, kailangan magbayad yung mga Filipino noon na sinakop nila. So, the Department of uh, the Division of Investigation was uh, uh, affiliated with the Bureau of Internal Revenue and the Philippine Constabulary. So, tinawag nilang Bureau of Investigation. Okay? So, para mag-investiga at the same time ay kasama nila sa mga pagkulekta ng uh, revenues or mga taxes. So, after the, uh, after the World War II, in the post-liberation period, all available DI, DI agents, okay, so lahat ng mga DI agents na available pa nun, na buhay pa, hindi pa namatay, ay nirecruit ng US Army, CIC, ano, as investigators, okay? So, uh, yun ang uh, ginawa nila, okay, uh, punta kayo rito, at gawin na lang namin kayong investigador din, ano, uh, dito sa Pilipinas, kasi hindi pa nga nila na dawag natin totally na na-liberate ng Pilipinas only uh, in 1946, in July 4 of 1946. And uh, on June 19, 1947, no? nung wala na yung mga di na tayo hawak ng Amerika, we are now a sovereign country, an independent country. By virtue of Republic Act 157, the Department of uh, or the Division of Investigation was reorganized to become the Bureau of Investigation. No? Ginamit din nila yung pangalan ng Japanese occupation. 
then amended by Executive Order 94 in 1947 at tinawag na itong National Bureau of Investigation. Okay? So, dati ay Bureau of Investigation naging National Bureau of Investigation na siya. Still, under pa rin yan ng Department of Justice. And uh, recently, uh, we have the Republic Act 10867, an act reorganizing and modernizing the NBI. So, the discussion today and the next discussion on NBI are based on Republic Act 10867. And the primary function of the NBI is to investigate crimes and other offenses against the laws of the Philippines, both at its own initiative or when the public interest may require. So, uh, mag-imbestiga ng mga crimes and offenses, no? punishable by the RPC or punishable by uh, special laws. No? And uh, maaring their own initiative sila mismo or pwedeng sila ay i-request -re or pwedeng magkakandak sila for the interest of the public. Ano mga ngayon? Say for example, may problema ang sangkot ay mga law enforcers or mga police officers. So for the for the interest of the public, sila ngayon nang papasok na mag-imbestiga doon, okay? So somehow yun ang function nila. Hindi sila hindi sila nakiki-overlap no sa PNP. Meron yan coordination na makikita natin as we move on with this topic. So, the main objective of the National Bureau of Investigation is to establish and maintain a modern, effective, and efficient investigative service and research agency. So, take note, investigative service. Mag-investiga lang. Okay? Hindi manghuli na mga, hindi sila involved sa crime detection. Involved sila sa crime investigation. Ibig sabihin, tapos na yung crime. Samantalang ang PNP, hindi pa tapos ang crime, okay? wala pang crime, ay nandun na ang Tawag natin ang uh, PNP hanggang matapos yung uh, crime na makumit. Pero sa NBI, pumapasok normal yan after na nakumit na yung crime. And then, research agency. Why research? Kasi yung mga, mga result ng investigation ay kinukulit yan para tinatawag natin magkaroon sila ng new ways uh, in combating criminality. At the same time, research on the areas of forensic sciences. Okay? Uh, for the purpose of implementing fully principal functions provided under Republic Act Number no. 157 as amended. What about the vision? Anong nakikita ng NBI in the near future? So nakikita nila na sila ay magiging world-class investigative institution. Pag sinabing world-class, okay, natatapatan nila yung kakayahan ng iba't ibang uh, investigative agencies ng ibang mga bansa sa buong mundo. And it is a dynamic, meaning it is ever-changing. Sumusunod yan sa, sa technology, hindi yan dapat nagpapahuli. Okay, kung ano yung mga bagong technology sa mga investigative agencies in other countries, kailangan ay magkaroon din ang NBI. Respected and committed. Respected in the sense that uh, walang makikitang kamalian sa kanila, hindi sila bias sa investigation. And they are committed to the high ideals of law and order. And their mission, meaning ano everyday na dapat nilang na-attain, that is to provide quality investigative and forensic services to the people through advanced methods and equipment in the pursuit of truth and justice. So those are the objectives, mission, and mission of the National Bureau of Investigation. What about the powers and functions of NBI? First thing first, undertake investigation and detection of crimes and offenses enumerated under Section 5 of Republic Act 10867. Ano mga yon? Sabi ko nga, pag-uusapan uh, natin yan sa ating next na lecture. But I'll just give you an idea, karamihan ng mga yan ay mga special penal laws. Karamihan ng mga yan ay yung mga uh, controversial na mga cases. Okay, ang kanilang hinahawakan. So the issue subpena for the appearance of any person for investigation or production of documents through its officers from uh, the ranks of regional director to director. Ano yun? Okay, so uh, pwede sila mag-issue ng subpena. Okay, subpena testificandum oh, no? or uh, uh, para mag-report yung isang tao, subject of interest. Uh, uh, in relation to uh, 
an investigate uh, in relation to a case under investigation. Okay? So sa pamamagitan ng kanila mga regional director, sila mag-issue instead of uh, uh, yung korte, sila ngayon na mag-issue ng subwena para uh, magpakita yung mga taong yon na maaring involved as a suspect or as a witness or as a person of interest sa isang kaso na inimbestiga ng NBI. So what else? It will act as a national clearing house of criminal records and other related information for the benefit of the government. So ano yan? Lahat ng mga kaso sa mga korte sa Pilipinas, kinaka-copy furnish nila ang NBI. Kaya kung may kaso ka na natutulog, kala mo, nalusutan mo na yan, nakapending lang pala yan, ah, swerte mo kapag kumuha ka ng NBI clearance mo na hindi pa nakarating sa NBI yung record mo. Otherwise, na, otherwise ay uh, hindi ka makakakuha ng, ng uh, NBI clearance mo. Kasi ang NBI ang pinaka-clearing house, kaya clearance, no? i-clear ka. Okay? So kapag uh, na-dismiss na yung kaso, bigyan mo ang NBI ng copy na dismiss yung kaso mo. Sa next na kukuha ka ng iyong, uh, ng iyong NBI clearance, ay cleared ka na. Kasi nga, national clearing house yan. Ngayon naman, kapag may kapangalan ka, or medyo may kapangalan ka, Okay, so uh, uh, magiging uh, hit yung pangalan mo. Kailangan maklir ka, so uh, i-require ka na magproduce ng document. And more often than not, ang i-request mo ay yung mga document na nagpapatunay na hindi ikaw yung tao na, na may kaso, na more or less kahawig ng pangalan mo. What else? The render technical assistance. No? Kanino? sa government agencies and instrumentalities when they are requested. Ano mga technical assistance? Sa mga forensic science, sa DNA, sa fingerprints, sa ballistics. Okay? So, pag nag-request sila, pag nag-request ang PNP, pag hindi kaya ng PNP, mag-request sa NBI. Vice versa. No? Kung wala sa NBI, mag-request din sa PNP kung ano yung mawalas nila. But more often than not, lalong-lalo nung hindi pa technological ang crime laboratory ng PNP, Normally, sa NBI sila nagre-request ng technical assistance. Okay? So, merong mga forensic uh, equipment sa NBI na wala sa PNP at meron ding mga forensic uh, equipment sa PNP na wala rin sa NBI. But uh, again, that is one of the functions of the NBI to render technical assistance and to extend assistance in cases involving extradition and mutual legal assistance. Ano yan? Okay, so, what is extradition? Yan yung... Uh, ikaw ay fugitive of the law at nandung ka sa ibang bansa okay hindi ka dinideport doon so uh, sila ngayon ang nagbibigay ng assistance para ma-extradite or ma-iuwi yung uh, uh, fugitive of the law na Pilipino nagtatago sa ibang bansa and to establish an NBI academy so matagal na yung NBI academy no okay matagal na yan pero naka-emphasize pa rin sa RA 10867 uh, na mag-establish ng NBI Academy which shall be responsible for the recruitment, training, and development of all NBI agents and personnel among others. Okay, nasa, nasa Baguio yung NBI Academy. Diyan nagtitraining yung mga special investigators at saka mga special agent ng NBI. And to establish and maintain a forensic and scientific research center. Okay? Kaya pagpunta kay sa NBI sa Maynila, kompleto yung kanilang forensic uh, laboratories. Pero sabi ko nga, meron silang wala na meron sa PNP. Okay? Lalong-lalo yung uh, nakipag-coordinate ang PNP Crime Lab sa uh, Japanese or Japan International Coordinating Agency, eh marami silang nakuang mga equipment doon na wala doon sa NBI. Which shall serve as the primary center for forensic and scientific research in furtherance of scientific knowledge in criminal investigation, detection, evidence collection, and preservation, and provide the necessary training there, therefore. Okay, so sila yun, ano? Para maging primary center for forensic and scientific research. However, medyo yung ating PNP Crime Lab ay nag improve na, kaya somehow ay nagkakaroon na rin ng separate and distinct identity ng ating crime laboratory. But again, hindi sila tinatawag natin nagko-contradict with one another. But rather, sila ay merong interdependency at uh, meron silang coordination.
and establish and maintain a cyber investigation and assessment center. Yan, guys, kapag cyber crime pinag-usapan natin, NBI may hawak niyan doon sa mga hacking activities which shall serve as the nerve center for computer information technologies, data on cyber crime cases, computer intrusion, threats and other related crimes or activities. Ang NBI ang primary agency for that purpose. And establish and maintain an integrated, comprehensive, and state-of-the-art network of equipment and facilities to be used by the NBI in its criminal investigation, detection, and evidence gathering and to provide the corresponding training in this regard. Okay? So, para magkaroon sila at mamintin nila ang mga integrated, comprehensive, and state-of-the-art network of equipment and facilities. Yan, lahat na yan sa ballistics, sa chemistry, no? sa question document, sa fingerprint, okay? sa lie detection. Yan, kailangan nilang mag-establish at mag-maintain ng mga ganitong state-of-the-art equipment and facilities para magamit nila sa kanilang criminal investigation, detection, and evidence gathering activities. Okay? At ganun din para may magamit sila para sa kanilang training for that purpose. And to request the assistance of the PNP or the AFP or any other agents of the government, including government-owned and or controlled corporations, in its anti-crime drive. Such assistance may include the use of the agency's personnel and facilities upon prior approval by the head of the agency concerned. Okay? So, ganito yun. So, magpapatulong sila assuming malaking sindikato. Hindi kaya ng pwersa ng NBI. Okay? So, hingi silang tulong sa PNP. O, oh, meron kaming operation. Okay? Malaking sindikato, di namin kaya. Okay? So, tutulong ang PNP or the EFP so that they can effect yung gagawin nilang... Uh, uh, search warrant or arresting of the person. Okay? So, uh, ganun din, ay uh, pwede rin silang humingi ng tulong para magamit nila mga facilities para magampanan ng NBI yung kanilang trabaho. Okay? So, yung PDEA minsan, uh, hihingi ng tulong din sa NBI o kaya yung NBI, nagtatrabaho sila sa isang malaking uh, sindikato at turn out mayroong drug syndicate din doon. So, papatulong din sila sa PDEA. So, hindi sila nag-overlap Okay? Hindi rin sila nagko-contradict, but rather ang mga agencies na ito, law enforcement agencies, ay nagtutulungan okay? in, uh, in one way or another. And to conduct intelligence operations in furtherance of the foregoing powers and functions. Kaya meron silang intelligence no, gathering din. So kung ano yung mga, ano yung mga more or less, pinatawag natin mga... Uh, mga warning signs na may mga crime na pwedeng uh, uh, makumit ng mga sindikato. So, mayroon din silang intelligence operations. And the NBI is given the authority to enter any contract or transaction so that they can acquire, they can own, they can possess, they can administer, they can list, they can dispose or accept any real or personal property in its name. Subject to the approval of the Secretary of Justice. So, nabigyan sila ng authority, power, Para mag-transact sila, para makabili, makakuha, makadispose ng mga ari-arian, mag-equipment at mga facilities. Okay, so, uh, establish a modern NBI clearance and identification center. No? Dati, pag kumuha ka ng NBI mo, tagal-tagal. Ngayon, pwedeng uh, uh, one day, makukuha mo na yung NBI clearance kasi uh, namomodernize na or na high technology na yung kanilang ginagamit. Okay. Uh, containing all derogatory and criminal records and civilian identification records. Kaya kahit saan ka pupunta sa Pilipinas, pag may record ka, uh, meron silang uh, uh, identification center, ang NBI. Ganon din ang PNP, meron din. Okay? Kapag yung kaso dumaan sa NBI, ay sigurado na sa NBI yung record. Pag hindi dumaan sa PNP, wala kang record sa PNP. No? Yan. Pag dumaan sa korte niyan, uh, magkakaroon ng NBI ng record. Okay? Nang... Uh, ng record mo sa korte. And then, of course, further, uh, kasama rin yan, hindi lamang yung fingerprint database, yung office na tinatawag natin, hindi lang yung IBIS, but of course, yung dental records. Pursuant to Presidential Decree Number no. 1575, the law requiring practitioners of dentistry to keep records of their patients. Kaya pag nagpadentist kayo, mayroon kayong record. Kasi nga, yung uh, dental uh, structure natin is already what you call an established science of personal identification. Yung tinatawag nating odontology. Okay?
and to maintain for purposes of investigative and forensic requirements of the NBI database. Pag sinabing database, lahat ng mga fingerprint na nare-record nila pag gumawa ka ng, ng clearance na nakalagay sa database niyan sa computer sa office. Ganun din kung mga firearms silang inimbestiga, meron silang database. Sa DNA, meron din sila. So, ganun yun. May database din sila ng mga criminals. Okay? And wanted criminals. Okay. So, uh, it may include ballistic records of firearms, okay? data ownership, possession, and other related identifying circumstances, and even DNA, data bank. And of course, to perform other functions as the President or the Secretary of Justice may assign. So, pwedeng itap ng NBI. So, may problema sa PhilHealth, kayong mag-takeover, kayong maging musiga. May problema sa mga polis sa Baguio or sa Ilocos, kayong maging musiga. So, uh, ganun yun. Okay? ang mga trabaho na ginagawa ng uh, National Bureau of Investigation. So, to end this uh, video, according to Dr. P.C.H. Browardell, a 19th century French medical legalist, at itong uh, kanyang coat ay ginagamit ito ng halos lahat ng forensic science uh, laboratories sa buong bansa. Okay, kapag may taga-NBI sa inyo na magle-lecture, uh, hindi may iwasan na ginagamit din nila ito kasi ito yung pinaka uh, ethics of investigation. If the law has made you a witness, remain a man of science. Meaning, kapag ikaw ay uh, witness bilang police, prosecutor witness, kailangan uh, you uh, testify only according to science, only according to mga nakita mo dun sa crime scene. Pag sabing science kasi, objective ka, hindi ka bias, hindi ka nagbibigay lang ng sariling opinion. And you have no victim to avenge and no guilty or innocent person to convict or save. Ibig sabihin yan, uh, nasa gitna ka, neutral ka. Okay? In other words, yung ebidensya mo, uh, kailangan yan, kung yan ay uh, pumapabor sa, sa suspect, then i-present mo pa rin. Yan ibig sabihin yan. Okay? And you must uh, bear testimony within the limits of science only, meaning based lang sa mga nakandak mo sa investigation. You do not go beyond that. Okay? So, uh, that's all for this discussion. Again, thank you very much and God bless us all.